after the end of the Second World War. During the struggle against Nazism, Britain took in refugees from all over Europe. My friend Charlie was a 13-year-old Jewish girl from Berlin who fled the Nazis and was given a safe haven here in Britain. During World War II, we stood in solidarity with the rest of Europe. We stood in solidarity with the anti-Nazi resistance in the occupied countries. We aided Europe, and Europe aided us to defeat Nazism. Polish air crews helped to Britain defend Britain's skies and cities against the Luftwaffe. Today, we owe them a debt. We know we owe all Europeans a debt when they stood with us to defeat fascism. And today, we must stand together again. Stand together with the rest of Europe to meet the common threats of climate destruction, corporate tax avoidance, and the threat from the United States and Russia. <laughs> Presidents Trump and Putin want a divided Europe and an isolated Britain so that they can make our economy subservient to theirs and so they can pressure us to follow their foreign policy dictates. United with Europe, we'll be better able to defend our interests against both Washington and Moscow. Now, more than ever before since 1945, we need solidarity across borders and European unity. I'm a Democrat, so I cannot deny the referendum results. But I reserve my right and our right to protest against it. Like many of you, I want a second referendum. Everyone in Britain, even those who voted for Brexit, deserve a second referendum. We voted by a narrow majority to leave, but we never voted at all on the terms and conditions. And the British people must be given the right to decide. A united Europe is our best hope for peace, democracy, social justice, and human rights. United together in this country and across Europe, we can win those goals. We can make a Europe better for now and better for future generations. Brexit is a blip. Europe united can and will win. Thank you.